On a cold November 12th evening, the Idaho volleyball team came into Memorial Gym with an objective. Win and you're in. It was victory or sour grapes for the Vandals as a win against Montana State will earn them a spot in the Big Sky Conference Tournament. Early in the going, the Vandals came out of the gate with a 6-0 advantage as outside hitters Sarah Sharp and Kayla Straw's hitting power dismantled the Bobcat defense. Mistakes plagued the Bobcats, decreasing its chances of attack, but a kill by Eli Sabisco brought a brief spark into their hitting game. As the first set progressed, if Idaho controlled the ball, another point went on the board, as seemed done by Sharp, who earned 7 of her 24 kills in the set. Sharp wouldn't be the only battle to contribute to set one. A trio team effort beginning with Tara Barney, then Megan Ramsayer swung the ball to the left, and in comes Becca Mal with the kill, showcasing what they're made of as Idaho was up 11 to 5, and it was only the beginning. The Von Riders' in sync blocking with Haley Masses also added a spark to the Vandal defense as the Bobcats struggle to keep pace with both Idaho's chemistry on offensive and defensive plays. Tori Crawford's smooth swing gave her two kills during a stretch where the Vandals now had a 10 plus point advantage. But in the game of volleyball, it's how you finish a set that matters most, as Idaho would later find out. Rallying for a kill determines the inner strength of a team when a lot is on the line. It must go smooth to get an advantage on your competitor. Idaho did that in the closing stages of set 1. Natalie Pasek of the Bobcats found an area to expose the blocking unit and earn the late kill. But when it was all said and done, Idaho continued its dominance as shown by Riker to set up game point. Pasek struck goal one play later which led Katie Rutecki serving the ball for Montana State. A quick save by Riker and an assist by Masses was all what Straw needed to give the Vandals a 1-0 lead. One set was in the record books as the Vandals was cool, calm, and determined to keep its momentum heading into set number two. Unlike stage one, it was a closer matchup between both teams as they put their bodies on the line to earn a hard fought point. Masses didn't hesitate to expose the tag team of Pasek and Kiana Black to put the Vandals up 10-6. Ramsayer serving caught the Bobcats off guard as the judges ruled the play a bad set. With a hand wave, it was all smiles. Once again, the Bobcats were unable to execute its hitting game, but wasted no time to redeem themselves by blocking Mathis. Despite the pressure, Mathis kept a close eye on her opponents, waiting for the next move.
Mathis reappeared again, having enough leverage on her swing to earn the kill and again splitting up the Bobcats blocking unit. Montana State would score more points in the second set, including a kill by Chase Dotti, cutting down Idaho's lead down to five late in the going. It was all for naught as Dotti tried to keep the rally alive but went out of bounds and wrapped up the set for the Vandals as they earned the 25-18 set victory, needing one more set to end a season filled of attrition and perseverance on a high note. Idaho entered the third set with a strong momentum as nothing faced them as play after play, their momentum keep reaching its peak. as Ryder prepared for her serve. It would become the turning point of the match as Montana State slowly crept their way towards the lead. An old foe known as Errors became Idaho's concern despite some brief moments where they scored big. Ramsayer was just shy of pulling off an astonishing recovery to keep the ball going, as the Bobcats' early struggles was now a distant memory and took the lead. What helped Idaho early on switch to the Bobcats as nothing was stopping them from crashing the party and eliminate the Vandals from a postseason dance. Set 3 now became a seesaw duel on who could take advantage of their opponent's weaknesses. As the will to win on the final day of the regular season brought every player a sense of urgency. Through kills, blocks, and errors, both teams turned it up a notch, as did their emotions after each play that favored them. Idaho was now concerned as the potential sweep was being hijacked. A pattern was starting to occur where they found difficulty to put up a scoring streak. Montana State has gotten Idaho's number as they denied a Vandal sweep, taking set 3 25-20. Tara Varney knew that momentum needed to change to avoid a potential fifth set. A solid rally ended with an out of bounds play, benefiting the Bobcats. 
Varney showcased her resiliency on the court, putting her body on the line, keeping the play alive. It's the do or die attitude that makes a successful team player. Frustration wasn't going to stop Idaho's goals of playing another week. They'll put the pressure on their opponents, even at its lowest point of the match. Perfection was key and the assist by Ramsayer gave Mao a chance to put her ferocious swing to the test and it paid off. However, it was Montana State who got the last laugh and set four started with Straw being denied of a kill, thanks to Savisco and Evie Wilson. The Bobcats was victorious, 25-20. It was now or never for the Vandals. Set 5 about to commence. Montana State erased the two-set deficit and started the final set with an 8-5 advantage as both teams switched sides. All bets were off. It's gut check time for the Vandals, and it came at a perfect time. A key block by Ryder and Straw became the turning point of the match, tying the set 11 apiece. Ryder and her teammates knew it's time to settle this war once and for all. The momentum once lost has been found by the Vandals as the service error put them at match point. For Idaho, it has come down to one last play, one last rally, one last memorable ending. After five grueling season-defining sets, Idaho had reached the promised land. They were heading to the Big Sky Tournament once again. For senior Tara Varney, the victory served as a storybook ending to her career at Memorial Gym. Honestly, it being senior night, we really wanted to do this for Tara. Um, I mean, we want to win every game, but this one was a little bit more special for us, and it was the game to get us to the Big Sky Tournament. A 
lot of tears before the game, but um, when the final or the beginning whistle blows, I just took it as the game, any other regular game. I didn't come out here as my senior game. I just took it as another game, and I just knew that we needed to come out here as a team and play together. You know, Varney's a spark plug, you know, she brings lots of energy, she's a communicator, um, you know, she definitely flies all over the place. For her to be second all time on digs, you know, we can't we can't stay in control of things if we don't have those digs and get those ups and be able to stay in long rallies. Obviously she's been a big part of what we've done and hopefully we can keep pushing as we go forward. We've kind of had a rocky start in the beginning of the season so to finish really strong and to make it to the Big Sky Tournament is like a super big accomplishment for this team and just we're all super proud of ourselves and excited. I think our team's getting better and we definitely have the ability to go in and win this thing and that's the message that we're sending to our team right now is we have the ability, we have to go out, we have to fight hard and we've got to push to win now. It's kind of nice because we don't really have a target on our backs. We're looked at as the underdogs and we get to just come in and play our game, have fun, enjoy every moment and take down teams one by one. It's been an amazing experience and um, just creating memories as it goes on. Big games like this is just awesome to go along with the thrill and I can ask for a better team to spend my